The self-acclaimed Port Harcourt first daughter, Tasha, and big brother Niger housemate has come under public scrutiny again by dissolving her management contract with Bill's vision, saying that the two parties have reviewed their relationship and they've agreed to part ways. And this has left her fan curious of what happened, that the contract she signed about three months ago has come, come crashing. If you can remember, Tasha was disqualified from Big Brother Niger House in 2019, a week before the end of the show. And Tasha was involved in an altercation with a fellow housemate known as Messi, aka or popularly called Messi Lamborghini. And when this incident happened, a lot of her fans were disappointed. Some of her supporters who pledged to support her also withdrew their support. Peter of Peace Square denied promising her 60 million naira, however, that he will use his influence to make her realize the 60 million naira, which is the prize money for Big Brother Niger. And again, Jaruma, who also promised her 15 million, also opted out, saying that Tasha is not grateful for all she did for her while in Big Brother Niger house, from the clothing she bought and the cash donation her fans made. But in any case, I think most people never came up with their support fully when she eventually left the house. And Tibio, still a savage, a strange husband, is not left alone. He vowed to make Tasha the biggest brand out of Africa, saying that Tasha is Kim Kardashian of Africa, that he is going to make her bigger than Big Brother. However, it seems that this promise never lived to the light of the day because at the end of the day, they only stayed for only three months and the contract dropped short. Hi guys, you're watching M Chicky series. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you're new to this channel, kindly consider subscribing by clicking on the red subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon, that way you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So when TBO's under Bill's vision took over the management of Thatcher, they overhauled her Instagram page by putting up very sharp, crispy pictures. Um, also, under his management, she was able to secure some endorsement deals with C-Rock, House of Lunettes, Get Fit, Hype and Steam, and a host of other ones. She also had the opportunity of visiting her motherland, Ghana, because her mom was from Ghana. And in overall, this looks like a very lucrative contract, if I may say. But recently, Tasha took to her Instagram handle to release a statement revealing that she's ending her management relationship with t -Bills. According to her, they ended their relationship in a mutual manner. For Tasha, she is thankful for all the opportunities that she had while working together with t -Bills. It is also very important to know that both parties, herself and Bill's vision, has had an amicable resolution on this and appreciate each other for the opportunity of working together and they would like the general public to respect their decision and take note of same. t -Bills also released a press statement in affirmation of what Tacha wrote on her Instagram page showing that they worked together and they had a good time and that the two parties have decided to go their separate ways amicably However, this didn't go down with some of their fans. Some people believe that they had some issues before they finally decided to separate because three months is short a short period. And this person came up and they were asking who will T-Bill sign after Tatcha and who will be Tatcha's new management. As people were pondering on these questions, Stella Dimokokos released her report saying that all is not well between the two parties, saying that T-Bill got a full dose of Tatcha last week where he offered advice and cautioned her for something she did, and she went south on him and insulted the living daylight out of him. They said TB threatened to drop her, and Tasha immediately informed him that she was no longer interested in working with him. Hence, the press release, they whispered that TB is shocked and disappointed in Tasha, but may not come out to say what happened, but decided to take the risk. So, Tila Dimokokus is challenging Tasha or TB to come out and refute her report or any other person that has a contrary story. Anyway, I'm not here to bash a young girl who is all out, struggling for herself, trying to make her ends meet. I'm not her fan anyway, but I don't want to add to her sorrows. Whatever the case is, everybody should understand that this is business. She has the right to choose who her management will be. And you guys should not expect her to keep quiet when the terms and conditions are not okay for her. Everybody's all out there for their pockets. Even the manager or the management are also making money off her head. So it's left to her to decide who the manager will be or who the management will be based on their terms and conditions. If they are not okay by her, then she has every right to opt out. And for other people who believe that she's so rude and ill-mannered and has a, an attitude problem, she also accepted that during her interview when she was evicted from Big Brother, that she's advising the youth 
to emulate her hard work and her confidence, then in the area of that personality issues that she will work on that. So I can see the reason why people should keep bashing her based on that. Anybody can easily jump on the bandwagon to say how rude and immoral she is. Oh, Tasha is rude, Tasha is this, Tasha is that. You guys should let this girl be. She has really done well for herself. People should focus on the positive side of her. She has already admitted the negative side of her, which is very clear. And they played out in Big Brother Niger house. So people should leave her. People should tend to appreciate her from moving from nothing. I say nothing to something. Moving from grass to grace. It's not easy. A young girl struggling on her own. Being able to push her way through. To this level, that says a lot about her. Remember, she didn't win the prize. She was not the Big Brother Niger winner. And she has been able to push herself to this level. Some people came to Big Brother Niger house. They were not disqualified. They were evicted. And yet nobody seems to know about them. But Tatcha was disqualified. And yet this never stopped her. She's still pushing and pushing. People should try and encourage her. Please focus on her positive and leave her negative side. She has already known about that. Actually, I don't think there's anything wrong with changing management. Some bigger celebrities, they've done it and they're still doing it. And nobody has come for them. So you guys should leave her. So while we wait for either TV or Sotacha to confirm or refute the report by Stella Dimokokos, another report had it that the winner of Big Brother Niger Prize, Macy Eke, and her boyfriend Ike Onyema have been entangled in relationship drama. These two who have been in love while they were in Big Brother Niger House 2019 and who were spotted together doing a traditional marriage in a secret ceremony in Macy's hometown as shown in a video uploaded by their fellow housemate Omar Shola and the two were seen decked out in traditional regalia. While fans were sending congratulatory messages to them, and Ike Boli said, I'm a married man now, seem to be having some relationship issues, which have made them to unfollow each other on Instagram, and also deleted some pictures they have on their Instagram pages that they had together. To raise the suspicion more, Ike took to his Insta story to share a picture of himself and touch her, and this raised a lot of questions by their fan, which Ike reacted to, saying that it is not true, that they've been busy, that is why they've not been together lately. However, Macy took to her Snapchat to share this post that she's single but not searching on the 31st of December, which is a kind of confirming the breakup. And again, she made a live video trying to advise people not to follow somebody that they don't love, that she has a lot of people bashing her on her Instagram, coming to her page to say a lot of nasty things. Why should you follow somebody that you don't love? And then you don't like me, and I wonder what, like, do you know me? You will never see me on the page of anybody that I don't like, no matter who you are. Even the American, even though you both celebrities, if I, even anybody, if I don't like you, I will never go to your page. Nothing will bring me to, what am I looking for? Am I mad? So I wonder why you don't like somebody and you're always crawling around her page like move on you don't like me you don't support me you don't comment you don't follow me but yet you're always on my you all you're stuck up you're obsessed you're obsessed with me it's called obsession and obsession kills but i pray for your soul today may god forgive you i pray for your soul may god forgive you because you don't know what you're doing As I have forgiven you, may God Almighty forgive you. So you have a changed heart and a changed spirit. I don't know why. Is it not like, how come, how you don't like somebody and you're on the person page? Please, my mercenaries, love everyone. And like, I won't say you to hate anybody, love everybody, but this, this social media, anybody you don't feel like, like, I'm just gonna tell you people straight up you don't need to be you don't need to be looking at what the person is you don't need to be on the person's page like let go me like like the way like if this listen if this thing is a hundred billion if i don't like it and i don't want it you will never see me around this hundred billion that is how i am i will never if like get this hundred billion fall on my butt i will move doesn't mean I hate you. Doesn't mean I don't like money. Doesn't mean I don't like it. But because I feel like since I don't, I do not like appreciate it. What am I looking at it for? And I want you all to be like that too. Like.
So guys, I'm gonna sign off here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think Tasha deserves all the hate that she's getting or do you think she deserves better? Then for Macy and EK, do you think the breakup was so quick? And for people who follow those that they don't love and go to their comment section to bash them, do you think it's right? I'm gonna sign off here. Stay healthy and safe. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not done already. And share this video with family and friends if you love it. And I'm gonna catch you in my next video. Bye.